We're going to make a six-pointed snowflake, and we won't have to use a compass or protractor in order to make the um, six points. So there's a little trick to this. So first off, we're going to need a square, and I've just used a plain piece of copy paper, which is cheap and easy to get and thin enough that it works really well. What we need to do is fold the short side to the long side to meet at a corner. This is also how you would make squares for an origami unit as well. Get that corner, flatten that down, and then I cut off this extra. Don't need that. So we've got our triangle folded in half, and now we need to make our three reference points in order to fold um, this into uh, sixths. So first thing we do is fold it in half. We're not actually going to fold it, we just want to pinch it on the edge so we can find our halfway mark. Um, I'm going to put a pencil mark here so you can see it, um, but if you're doing this uh, for yourself, you don't necessarily need the marks. Now we're going to fold up the left side up to the top and again pinch so we have another reference mark. Then we need our third reference mark, and this one is a little unusual. We're going to fold this tip to that point. Just like that. And then over here is where I make my pinch mark, and that's the important one. All right. So now we've got our three reference points. What we need to do is fold along here to make our um, 60 degrees. So I'm gonna measure here, just kind of pinch that, and I wanna keep folding it over until I hit that mark here. And I can look inside to see it. That mark, that mark, make sure it's straight. Fold that down. Now we turn it over, and this side should just meet this side. And then we fold the whole thing in half. And we have the folds done for our six pointed star. Now along here you have an edge. We can see where the paper kind of ends. One side doesn't have that, but the other side does. Go ahead and cut that off so that you don't make any mistakes when you create your snowflake. Now the trick to doing a good snowflake um, is to create pathways that go through the figure that are very geometric. Now you can draw on it to make these pathways or you can just cut them out naturally. So um, I'm gonna start from one of the points. So that's gonna make the snowflake really tall. And then I'm gonna put a little point over here. And then I wanna think of these as creating pathways. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw it this way. It's kind of like a little sidewalk and I'm gonna have a little corner down here. Have this come over this way. I'm gonna go ahead and let it come down. Then I'm going to have this come down and over. I'm gonna do it again here. And let me go down straight. And I think that's gonna be it. So these look like little sidewalks or little pathways. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. You'll also find that the inside edge of the scissor cuts better than the tip of the scissor. So I'm almost doing all of my cuts with the, the inside half inch of the scissor. That tends to work best. And I'm also pinching the paper really tightly so that the papers don't kind of slide out of each other. Pinch here to make sure that doesn't unravel.
recycle all my little bits. When you open it, find your halfway mark, open that, and then press those folds maybe even a little bit backwards. I'm gonna unfold again, press those again backwards. Unfold again, press it nice and flat. And I unfold the last half. And we got our perfect six-pointed snowflake. So again, you don't need to use a compass or a protractor to get six sides if you follow these directions.